motherfucker think that he can run a whole motherfucker without the goddamn experience. And it's dangerous when the old motherfucker don't realize when the young motherfucker is ready to leave. And I'm saying you need both qualities, bro. So all that young shit, you can miss me with it. All that old shit, you can miss me with it, bro. I'm saying, an 18 year old nigga ain't running shit. You don't get his dumb ass murked out of there, yo. I, I, I don't think you. I think you probably understand me. Let's let's address this whole lion example that you gave reference to. Yeah, when that's lions, okay. When lions, when lions, how old are lions when they start to take over fries? I don't know, bro. We need to really look. That, that, that's, I, 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 if we can tell them, we already Google this. Examples horrible, horrible yo. Yeah. How like you know how long lions got to pry and then some young little. Lions come up, kill that nigga, and take his pride, or they just run his bitch ass away and take his shit. which can bring catastrophic disharmonies to a society. What you're committing right now, Chief, uh, Double X Architect, is disharmonies in our society that can be catastrophic because you don't want to listen. Nigga, we in America. <laughs> you already have that. You can't strike your ass. That shit ain't working when we was in Africa. Fuck all that bullshit. Hey, you're not listening. I heard exactly what you said, bro. You're not listening. Hey, man, I'm not, I'm not laughing at you crazy-ass, yo. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not He's bringing this African proverbial wisdom. Get that bullshit away from me. That shit ain't from Africa. What the fuck do you think it's going to work now? What do you mean it don't work? You're still being in body. The Africa get colonized, yes or no? The Africans get shipped no, across on, the fucking Atlantic. Hold on, hold on. Everybody freeze for a minute. Hold on, everybody freeze. Hold on, everybody freeze for one moment. Come on, man. Come on, relax. Hold on, relax. Let's do this. Hold on. Listen, since we move into a touchy subject, it's called Africa, right? And that can be a very touchy subject. Because I done cuss niggas out. I had to you said, double X. Let me finish my point, though. So since we move into a touchy subject, we're going to need some motherfucking order and control around here. This shit ain't personal, right? Everybody need to listen, and everything needs to be in context. All right, so we, seriously, because I love Africa. Seriously, I done cuss niggas out. That, that's the, that shit, that old slide shit you just said. I'm what I'm saying is, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we keep shit in context and don't make it personal. Because this should be heated all night long, and I don't want to do that. I want some clarity because some African things can be overblown and get our dumb asses fucked up. But then if you lose all that, then, then that's basically what a slave is. A slave is somebody that has no type of protection to his motherfucking ancestry. And that's the problem, people. That's why we fucked up, because we don't have that connectivity. And I know that's what we dedicated to, connecting this back. Now, that don't mean connect back to the point where you lost. It don't mean that. It means that there are some ideas and concepts, no matter what the younger generation say, that are worthy to be brought forward, bro. That's all. You don't got to be in Africa to bring some tradition forward that, that would help the community. We, we can think. We know the shit that don't work. The spear was retarded against the gun. We get all that. Colonization part, all that. But it was some things that kept some people going forward. And that some traditions can keep you from getting fucked up. I'm telling you, bro. But we ain't gonna just spit on Africa. We ain't, we ain't doing that, right? We ain't gonna think that everybody, the African shit is just dumb. That's not true. Europeans built, built a whole motherfucking United States, you know what I'm saying, off of African traditions, dude. You, that's not hard. You can go to the back of the dollar bill. Mm -hmm. They gave respect to motherfucking African traditions, yo. That's all that nigga be fake with the, the fake Illuminati shit. They was just saying that these niggas to build these pyramids <laughs> was very vital, bro, to what they was doing. And you. In this discussion, Double X made mention a few times the F Africa. You're con committing treason when you say those words. Because when you turn around and you say F Africa, what you're saying is 
everything that you basically learned about science, everything that you learned about math, everything that you learned about astronomy, everything that you learned about metallurgy and tools, everything that you learned about navigation, everything that you learned about medicine, everything that you learned about architecture and engineering, everything that you learned about evolution means very little to you because it's F Africa. The contribution from Africans to the rest of the world is unique. This is not hyperdiffusionism. This is a fact. The contributions that the African has given the world has paved the way for you to sit up at 2 a.m. in the morning and discuss science, evolution, and other things. In this discussion, you stated that you're African American. You're hyphenated, which means you're African before you are American, and part of your African American culture evolves from African customs and traditions, from the food, from the music, from the dress, from the language, the evolution of the language. If you want to use Ebonics, or if you want to use the Gullah Geechee, uh, language if you you know if you want to do all of these things it's origins for you as an african in america begins in africa 